Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to delete duplicate records from SQL table and keep the new records. So recently I got a question from two of my subscribers, one from Mariam and she asked like how to remove the duplicate records and save only the records with the recent ID and the second one was from the Pawan Raju and he asked that SQL table having the duplicate records and keep the latest one and remove the older record. So let's jump to the demo. On my SQL Server 2019 instance, I got a table EMP data table and if you see here, then this particular table, it contains some person's ID, first name, last name, gender and company name. So if you see that the ID is unique in this particular table, but if you see the first name, last name, gender and company name for the two records, first two records like for ID 1, the ID 1 is similar to the data in the ID 11, the first name is same last name is same, gender is same and the company name is same and the ID2 record this is identical to the this 12 number records ok. So what I want is that I want to keep the most recent data I mean the highest ID number 11 and 12 and I want to delete the first and second record because the recent ID records are these one 11 and 12 and 1 and 2 are the older records. So I just want to delete the older records and want to keep the latest records. So how I can do that? So we can use the CT along with the row number function and what I can do I can just sort the data based on ID DESC in the descending order and then I can just remove the duplicate records with the oldest data. So let me just write a query here with CTE as select row number over so I will share all the code with you. So I will share the script to delete the duplicate record and I will also share the script to create the source table and insert the data into the source table. Partition by. So I want to check the duplicate records based on the first name, last name, gender and the company name. So I can write like maybe I can copy everything from here. Partition by first name, last name, gender and company name and then order by and I can keep ID DESC ok because if I will sort the data based on the ID in descending order so this record will come on top and this record will be preserved and thus this second record will be deleted. Similarly this record will come on top when I will sort the data based on the ID DESC and this record will be deleted ok. So I can call this new column as RN comma star from and the table name so I can copy the table name from here and then I can end the bracket select star from CTE so now I can execute this particular query so now you can see that from this particular result set from the column RN wherever the value is 1 those records will be preserved and wherever the value is greater than 1 like these two records those records will be deleted so if you see the ID 1 record will be deleted and then the ID 2 record will be deleted as well ok and for the ID 1 record the corresponding record is the one with ID 11 and for ID 2 record the corresponding record that will be preserved is the ID number 12 ok so what you can do if you want to see like which records will be deleted so you can put a where clause where RN is greater than 1 ok so these two records will be deleted so now if you want to delete it so then you can just replace the select query with a delete statement so I can just copy this query from here paste it here and now instead of select star you can put delete ok and maybe if you want to just take an extra precaution then you can use a begin run here and then you can click on begin run ok and then you can execute this particular query so now you can see that the two records got deleted and if you recheck the data so now there are no duplicate records in this particular table and even you can just verify the data again ok. So all the duplicate records have been deleted from this particular table and now you can commit the transaction ok otherwise the table will be locked. So the data has been committed and the duplicate records have been deleted from this particular table EMP data. So this was one of the method. Now let me show you another table. So I got an employee table here. And if you see in this particular table, it contains like person's ID, name, salary, date of joining and the last updated records. So if you see for the first 7 records, the last updated date is this one, 
फर्स्ट जनवरी टू एंड इफ यू सी फॉर द लास्ट थ्री रिकॉर्ड्स द लास्ट अपडेटेड डेट इज फर्स्ट जनवरी टू ओके एंड इफ यू सी दिस रिकॉर्ड द आई नंबर वन दिस इज डुप्लीकेट बिकॉज we already have a record here with the name id and the same name same salary same date of joining okay everything is same only the last updated value is different here it is 1st january 2020 and here it is 1st january 2022 okay similarly for the second record ahmed osama this is the same record whatever record we already have but the older record had the values like 1st january 2020 and the new record have a value 2022 okay so what we want is that we want to keep the latest records and we want to delete the older records so now what will happen that these three record the first three records these will be deleted because these are the older records and the last three records with the latest last updated value these records will be preserved okay so we need to delete the data something like this so how we can do that we can use the same cte function along with the row number function and the duplicate records can be deleted so what i can do i can write a query here with cte as select row number over partition by if you are 100% sure that if the id is duplicate then everything will be duplicate then you can just do a partition by id and then you can do order by last updated desc okay because we are sorting the data based on the last updated so the highest value will come on the top and the rn value for the top record will be one so this record will be preserved and the second record this will come after the first record so the value for the rn will be two and this record will be deleted okay so i can call this particular column as rn comma star from and i can copy the table name from here paste it here select star from cte and i can execute this particular query so if you see this particular result set wherever the value of the rn is greater than 1 this record will be deleted so if you see this rn2 value will be deleted and we are going to delete the record where the last updated value is 1st january 2020 and the record with the 1st january 2022 will be preserved and similarly if you see the rn2 record this record will be deleted and here the value of the last updated is 1st january 2020 and this record will be deleted and the another record with the value of last updated 1st january 2022 this record will be preserved okay so if you want to see like which record will be deleted then you can write a where condition where rn is greater than 1 okay so if i execute this particular query so these three records will be deleted and the last updated value for all these three records is 1st january 2020 okay so if you want to delete the data then you can just simply replace the select star with a delete query okay so you can put a delete query here delete from cte okay and you can just execute this particular query so three records got deleted and if you recheck the data now in the employee so those three records got deleted and if you want to check like if there are further any duplicate records then it should not show any duplicate records here so this is how you can just remove the duplicate records and you can keep the most recent records and i will share all the delete statements and select statements with you and i will also share the data for the emp data table and employee table so that you can create the tables on your environment and you can test them so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much